in the case of um, supposedly tolerant and liberal countries like New Zealand and Australia. And I'm just wondering, you know, what does this say about the world that we're in? I've been reading a lot about the controversy about Viktor Orban's Hungary in these days and his coining of the phrase illiberal democracy. I'm going to have to ask, when I read about countries that we would regard as being in the vanguard of best practice or supposedly in the vanguard of best practice in terms of human rights and civil liberties. Is that, are we looking at there, is that liberal democracy or is it illiberal democracy? Is it governance without morality? Is it conceivable uh, that in modern democracies uh, the legitimate uh, management of public finance allows such uh, blatant and unjust discrimination against the most vulnerable uh, in society? Um, I think that this these situations disclose something very scandalous in places where you wouldn't expect to see it. And yet I'm not entirely sure about what would happen in this country in similar circumstances. So I'm here to ask the Minister, and Thank I know you, you're Maria. carrying the brief today, uh, uh, Minister Stanton, for, for the Minister for Foreign Affairs yeah. and Trade. Are you, is the government aware of these two, ca two these, uh, cases? 
is yeah. uh, the relevant department, presumably Foreign Affairs, uh, doing anything to assist you, either Senator of these Wright. families? Can I also ask, in the case of the Hyde family, where an appeal is still possible, uh, if there is a process, can the minister intervene and make representations with the Australian Immigration Minister? And finally, can this minister here today confirm that no such grounds would ever be used to deny a child a visa to enter Ireland with their family, all other things being equal? Thank you. Thank, thank you, Senator Minister. Uh, thanks very much to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, since his apologies to the House, he's unable to be here. So he asked me to uh, address the matter. And, uh, he thanks the Senate for bringing the, the cases to his attention. Obviously, this is still a very, very difficult time for the families concerned, and I want to commend the Senator for raising the matter in the way he did. Uh, unfortunately, the Minister is not in a position to comment on either case, and as the Senator will appreciate, the question of obtaining a visa for New Zealand or for Australia, indeed, is a matter for the relevant authorities in New Zealand and Australia. Uh, the Minister understands that the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade has not been asked by the families concerned to raise their cases with the governments of New Zealand and Australia. All countries establish their own procedures and criteria for assessing such applications, and between like-minded countries there can be broad similarities of approach. All visa applications in Ireland are considered on their own merits, taking into account all matters brought to the attention of the visa deciding officer. If an applicant for a visa declares something that could potentially be a burden on the cost of the state, such, a medical condition, such as medical condition, then this would form part of the consideration of the application, but would not mean that it would automatically lead to a refusal. Non-EEA nationals who register in the state require full medical uh, insurance, which would be expected to cover all current medical conditions. It can be assumed that similar considerations are taken into account by authorities in Australia and New Zealand. While recognising the difficulties being faced by the families, I hope that the Senator can appreciate it is not possible for the Minister or neither for me either to comment on their specific cases, not to pass comment on the visa procedures applied by other sovereign states. Yeah, well, I have to say I'm disappointed by the response because the idea that we can't comment because this is a matter for another state, if that were to be followed in all situations where something so blatantly unjust and cruel were to be disclosed, then we would have, uh, we'd have zero international engagements. Uh, the reason we have uh, a Ministry for Foreign Affairs is to conduct relations with certain states. And, you know, according to my recollection, Ireland has always seen itself as a country that has a, a moral voice, as a moral uh, perspective in things in the world. Um, what I'm hearing from the Minister's reply is a, 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 a hear no evil, see no evil uh, approach. And I'm not at all uh, con uh, reassured that there isn't also a, a do no evil commitment uh, because it, it, it's, it's not clear from the Minister's reply but that there, there, but that there could be a similar uh, cruel um, approach taken by the Irish authorities. I would have hoped that uh, the government's reply today would at least have said these are situations that ought to make us think and review our policies just to see whether there could be unintended uh, consequences, uh, 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 unintended consequences uh, of such magnitude. And this is something I think, um, while I accept what the Minister has said, this hasn't been taken up, it, I, I really question whether the government ought to wait to be approached when uh, something so troubling has come to public notice, as, has, uh, as these cases have. Thank, thank you, you, Senator Minister. Yeah, again, I want to thank the Senator for raising these. These are two very upsetting cases, obviously, for the families involved, and I recognise that, and I'm sorry about that. But uh, it, the, it's usual that the families, uh, families would, like that would approach the minister and the department to make representations, and that hasn't happened as, uh, to the best of my knowledge. Um, also, I think I heard the, minute, the, the senator saying earlier on that uh, uh, there would be no costs involved to the states uh, concerned by the, because of the conditions of the, of the, of the uh, children involved and their medical conditions. Um, and uh, again, uh, something similar happens here. Um, the, 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 if people came to work in Ireland, they were required to register for, regi for re residence permission, and the same criteria would, would, would apply with regard to their ability to support themselves and to have adequate medical insurance. And that's the situation that happens here. Uh, so, but again, as I said, we are not in a, really in a position to count on the visa application process of other states. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Minister. And thank